Hello, welcome to your virtual field trip here at the Kent Ceiling Waterloo Region Museum. We're here in the dry goods and grocery store, and in addition to all the foodstuffs that I would sell, I have dry goods behind me. These are the everyday household items that you might need, including things like school supplies. I've got a slate and slate pencil that children would use. I have a pen and ink that you'd need for writing your lessons. And I would sell the textbooks that you need for school. Every student used the same one. But I also carry some novelty items. Things like a mustache cup for men who had big bushy mustaches. That was the, the popular style in 1914. And with this cup, you would be able to drink your coffee or tea without getting your mustache wet. Or when you comb your hair, women would put the little bits of hair in here and save them in this hair receiver and maybe use them to stuff a pin cushion later. I also carry things, especially at holiday times, that might appeal to children, like a bank, a way to save some money. Pop a penny in the pony's mouth, pull the lever, and it drops into its feed bin. Have you been watching lots of movies or playing video games? Well, in 1914, your option was a magic lantern. With this, you could show pictures to everybody in the family. You put up a screen, you put a slide in here, and a kerosene lamp inside, and you could show pictures. Now, I'm also stocking the brand new Gillette Safety Razor. This makes shaving a lot safer than the more traditional style with the straight razor. And something else that I've just started to stock is a camera. This is a Kodak portable camera. You could actually take this when you're going on a picnic, you're going for a drive, you're able to take photographs anywhere. It folds up and can fit into a basket. Now I'd like to invite you to think about new products. In 1914, there were things like the automobiles that were changing every year. There were uh, new things like wristwatches. Those are items that I'm not going to stock here until I'm sure there's a demand. What about you? Look at what are new products for 2020 and try to write a review. You might have to look at some. Write a review for a new product. Give it a rating out of five. Often they're done by stars, so is it a one-star product? What are the best features of it? Um, why would somebody want to buy it? Have fun. See you next time. Bye-bye.